I'm Jana. I'm 29 years old and this video is long time coming. So I have been up and down and up and down and up and down the fitness Five years ago today, I lost, I hit my 50 pound mark. Since then, I've run a half marathon, I've ridden my bike across America twice, and um, across Tennessee once. I have worked as a manager of a gym. Um, I've started my own business twice. <laughs> um, and. I have gained 47 pounds back. <laughs> so it was this night five years ago. I had been working my tail end off um, to lose, finally get to that 50 pound mark. Um, back up a little bit. I was born without a thyroid and without a, yeah, um, technically it was there. It was in the wrong place and it's never functioned. And if you don't know, your thyroid runs everything in your body your metabolism, your ability to think, sleep, move, breathe, your heart beating. I mean, it is like the powerhouse of your hormones. So I've always just like up and down and up and down my weight. Um, I was a chubby little kid. <laughs> I had this like nice little like bowl cut with a perm. It was awesome. Not awesome. <laughs> But nonetheless, um, so I really struggled a lot with my weight and I guess I was probably like 19 when I hit my heaviest and it was right about 230 pounds. I decided, okay, I'm going to start working out, exercising, um, and I was living in New Zealand at the time, I was living overseas, I was a missionary over there, um, and I started running. And I remember when I first started running and my mile was... Um, a 15 minute mile and I was dad gum proud of that 15 minute mile because I booked it I remember talking to a trainer and was like um, I can run a mile in 15 minutes <laughs> that's fast <laughs> um, which I mean it's faster than sitting on the couch that's for certain but in my training I got down to like a seven minute mile after I had lost weight and everything like not consistently, but I could run a seven minute mile. I'd say consistently my long runs, I could do about a 10 minute mile, nine and a half to 10 minute mile consistently. Anyway, um, so fast forward to after my second Across America bike tour, um, that was with an organization called Venture Expeditions, which they're totally amazing. Um, if you want to ever support a nonprofit, I would go look them up. After that, I, I went through a what's called a thyroid storm. It's basically just like all the hormones in your body just explode. Some of them stop functioning. Like I had no thyroid function. Um, there was a little mix up at the doctor's office, miscommunication between me and the doctor. And to be completely honest, I wanted a thyroid. Like, you know, that all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. I just wanted my thyroid even up until well into my 20s and I thought well maybe since I technically do have a thyroid but it's in the wrong spot it can still work if I clean up my diet which that is true for some but it was not true for me my thyroid has never worked and I believed I wanted to believe that I didn't need my medicine that was a terrible decision so I was very sick um, and honestly it lasted um, lasted for a couple years before all the symptoms kind of slowed down. Also on top of that, I had um, been riding a bike that was too small for me, which I found out later. And then not only was my bike too small for me, but since I was a runner that went into cycling and I didn't cross train very well, I hurt my, my back and my hip flexors. They were just super weakened, like something was out. Um, and I have a chiropractor here in town who helps, who helped me kind of rehab that back, but it's like even, 
Um, that's been two years now and um, I feel like my back and hips just haven't been the same. But this year, I feel like, but also part of that was I didn't put everything into it. Um, the last couple years have been, so that was in the end of 2015 is when my thyroid storm started. And so I'd say it's taken a full two years to get back to where I am, to get back to another starting point. So I feel like now I'm at a point where I've just like boop, pushed the reset button on my life again. I want to show the world that they can be healthy and like the change is possible. Um, and through that, if someone who does not have a thyroid can work out and be healthy, you can too, <laughs> I promise. Um, so also another side note is I am a, massage, a sports massage therapist and a health coach. And so I work with my clients on setting goals and dieting and lifestyle and all that and just making sure that I'm there fighting with them in the arena, fighting for them, making sure that they're making good decisions and making them feel educated, empowered and encouraged in the lifestyles that they're, um, the life changes that they're making. So anyway, that's also including my journey. So it's like, I've done it all before. I've done this all before. And I can honestly say, I think without my thyroid storm, I would be where I want to be today. But I also have to acknowledge that that's part of my story. And, um, even though I'm pushing my restart button, kind of, I feel like I'm starting over with like exercise. I mean, like I rode my bike across the country. I ran marathons. I did a tough mutter. I was like training for so much and my body could do so many things. And then it just stopped. <laughs> it was like, no, you're done, <laughs> chill out. And I feel like seriously, my soul is like, you need to rest. I mean, I just pushed myself way too hard. Um, my value was based on the number on the scale and I didn't want that to happen anymore. Um, my identity is in Christ and it has nothing to do with who, what the scale says or what body fat percentage I might have or uh, how much I can lift or how far I can run or how fast I can run. And I think I had to learn that the hard way. Um, and now I feel like after going through my counseling and just getting a new refreshed look it's like I'm I mean I'm 227 pounds today and I'm loving it <laughs> to be honest like I mean I'm about to have to grow into another pant size bigger um just because I ripped my last pair of pants <laughs> that's so awkward <laughs> um but I'm like okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna go buy a bigger pair of pants but that's okay because it's only gonna go a little bit bigger and then it's going back down because I am eating right I'm taking care of my body I'm working out and I am devoted to health because I want to be around and I'm so passionate about um, showing other people health and helping them live healthy lives but I think I had to learn that it's that's not where my value lies that's not who I am I mean, I am still loved and cherished and I'm still really funny and good looking and <laughs> whatever, all these things that are in my soul. I'm still me. I'm still a creation of Christ, even if my scale goes up or even if it goes down. If I succeed at this and become a fitness model and become a genius health guru, my identity does not lie in that. It lies in Christ and that is it. But I can still do this for myself and I can still be excited about health and wellness without that just swallowing me up. I mean, it's like, that's all I could think about was my weight and who was I and why was I not good enough or why was I too much and whatever. It's like, that's not what it's about. This journey is about becoming the best you and being healthy so you can be present with people and learning how to have a balanced life and lifestyle. It's about loving life and loving yourself and giving yourself grace and discipline. And it's about the journey. It really is about the journey. So anyway, that's kind of my story. Um, I think today is a great launching date for my journey, like pushing restart. I'm turning 30 in October and this is March 19th. <laughs> 
Um, so March, April, April, May, May, June, June, July, July, to August, August, September, September, October, five, seven months um, until I turn 30. And I have a list of 30, 30 things, 30 before 30, 30 things I wanna do before I'm 30. And one of them is to get in the best shape of my life. And I doubt that I'll lose 50 pounds in seven months. It's, it can happen. But the point is that I'm working actively on setting good disciplines and taking care of myself and investing myself and doing self-care. <laughs> Excuse me, I get hiccups all the time. Also working on curing my gut. I got a leaky gut issue and it causes all these problems, um, including hiccups. So if I hiccup in later videos, that's why. Anyway, um, anyway, if you've watched this long, thank you for engaging in my story. I would love to hear your story, so comment below, give this a like, share it if, if you think it'll encourage someone else. Um, I am going to be posting videos, I'm investing in my YouTube channel, um, hopefully it'll give hope to other people out there who are trying to lose weight and better their lives through health and nutrition. So anyway, God bless, you guys have a great night, and um, I'll see you next time.